G'day cocktail lover, what can I get for you? My girl, she's airy, she's boxum and gay. Her breath is as fresh as the blossoms in May. The touch of her lips, it ravishes quite. She's always good natured, good humoured and free. She dances, she glances, she smiles with a glee. Her eyes are the lightnings of joy and delight. Her slender neck, her handsome waist, her hair well buckled, her stays well laced. Her tape a white leg with an et and a C for her A B E D and her C U N T and O oh, for the joys of a long winter night. So you'd be here for Burns Night then? I'm here for Burns Night! And I guess you want me to make you a Bobby Burns? I want you to make me a Bobby Burns! That is a terrible Scottish accent. I'm a true Scotsman! Whatever you say, groundskeeper Willie. That's a racial slur! It really isn't. I'm not the one who's going to get punched in the face if someone actually Scotty shows up now. Anyway, you drink a Robbie Burns. Yes, in honour of the great man! Did you know some people think the drink isn't actually named after the well-known poet? They think it's named after a local who frequented the bar where the drink was invented? That's sacrilege! Against my better judgement, I'm actually siding with you. My family was Scottish, and I like to think the Bobby Burns is a tribute to the great poet. So, my drink then? Coming right up. This is essentially a variation on a Manhattan, using scotch, and depending how you make it, a few other changes. And there have been many different recipes over the year, and just in case you want to make one of these yourself at home later, I'm going to step you through how I make it. First up, we're going to have one ounce or 30 mils of sweet vermouth. I'm using this particularly fruity vermouth from Unico Zello in South Australia. It's got elements of yuzu as well as your traditional wine flavours going in there. It's really tasty. We're going to add 30 mils to our mixing glass. Next, we want to add a little herbal liqueur. Now, a lot of people use Benedictine, which is fine. I like to use Drambuie because it's based around scotch and I think that is more fitting for Bobby Burns. The, whatever you choose, we're going with half an ounce 15 mils of herbal liqueur. Now I'm going to add two dashes of bitters. There's a lot of room here to improvise based on your own personal taste. A lot of people use orange bitters. I'm going to do two dashes of Peshaw's bitters, but you go if you're making your own with what you like. And I'm going to put into our mixer now two dashes of Peshaw's bitters. Because Drambuie isn't as herbal as Benedictine, I like to put a bit more herbal complexity in there. So I'm going to add just a dash of absinthe. That's going to liven things up a bit and make the drink a bit more complex. Absinthe, you say? But, but what do you mean dash like? You sound a bit worried. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Okay, big guy. It was just a dash. I've saved the best for last. We're going to add 30 mils of a peaty single malt whiskey Talisker 10 year old. Is it not usual to use a blended scotch in a Bobby Burns? True, a lot of people are put off by something as punchy as a Talisker 10 year old and they prefer to use a blended scotch that's a bit more rounded. But you know what I say to those people? Your bloodline is weak and you shall not survive the winter. Here is your very special Bobby Burns. I can take it. Guess it here. <laughs> I would not have done that. You know what? Under responsible service of alcohol laws, uh, that's you. Done for the night. Is he dead? He isn't moving. Oh well, as Robert Burns said, Here lies Squire Hugh, ye harlot crew. Come make your waters on him. I'm sure that he, well pleased would be, to think he pished upon you. No, 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 no don't, don't actually piss on him. I'd have to clean it up. Take him outside. What happens there? Nothing to do with me.